and born blind. This is the second story that takes place in what's known as the secret trip that Jesus took to Jerusalem. In the first story, uh, it, in, it included the, uh, the instance where the people brought him a woman who was caught in adultery and wanted to stone her. Now, this second story, uh, again, Jesus is there for the Festival of Tabernacles, which is a seven-day festival. Now, this is, the, this is the Sabbath, right, 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 right afterwards. And uh, he heals the man who is born blind. Now, you have to understand the issue involved here. The disciples are asking this because it is commonly believed that uh, blindness or disease is caused by sin. So they were confused. Now, this man was born blind. So does, did God give him that because of some sin he was going to permit, uh, uh, going to c c c commit during his lifetime? Or was it because of something that his parents did before he was blind? Jesus' attitude towards sin and disease differs. Uh, there are certain times that we can tell that he did believe that a certain disease or illness was caused by sin. Sometimes it was caused by being demon-possessed. But in this case, he said, no, no, in, in this case, he was given. He, I, I like that where he was given this blindness so he could display the power of God. Interesting, the... Um, attitude towards uh, doctors. The, the Jewish people weren't really sure about doctors since they believed that sin and disease were c c connected, that, that he more than likely he needed a, a priest more than a doctor. And still they required a doctor for every town and city. On top of that, they actually had a doctor in the temple. Uh, the priest had a habit of of going barefoot, so they would often pick up things in their feet, and it was the doctor that would, uh, that, that would treat them. Of course, Luke was a doctor. But in that case, he was actually a Greek doctor, and they were more, they were more, uh, more advanced. The uh, pool that the man was told, he was told to go to the pool. Well, this is the Pool of Siloam. Uh, understand the history of that. Uh, Hezekiah, when he was king, he built an addition onto the city of Jerusalem, and he knew that the Assyrian army was going to come and put the city under siege. The problem is, is the, the water source was outside the city walls. And they, and they knew that the Assyrians had long sieges and they would just be patient and they would eventually run out of water. So he built tunnels, a tunnel that went from the, from the outside source underneath the city of David over to the Pool of Siloam. It was my thrill to walk through the tunnels that Hezekiah built and you're in the Dark, dark. You have to have your own. You have to have your own flashlight. And it's dark, dark, dark. And suddenly, off in the distance, you see a little bit of light, like it's bigger and bigger and bigger as you come to the end of the of the tunnel. And you come out, and there is the pool of Siloam right there, the same place where where this man went and washed his eyes. The parents were afraid of being thrown out of thrown out of the synagogue. The word synagogue actually means gathering together place. One had to be built for every 10 adult men. Uh, it was a place of worship. They couldn't sacrifice there. Only, uh, that could only be done at the temple. But they could worship there. But it was more than that. It was a place, it was the community center, usually built right in the center of the city or a high place in the city, and the actual structure was made so even, uh, even if it wasn't the highest place, it would be the highest building. It was a place where people, families got together, and family and friends, and, 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 but it was also a place of networking. You wanted to buy from your friends or trade with your friends or deal with them. So the 
Parents feared being kicked out of the synagogue because of this very thing. It's interesting. Jesus went to the synagogue in Capernaum, and he never had to worry about being kicked out of the synagogue. <laughs> you don't forget, forget the ruler of the synagogue. It was his 12-year-old daughter that Jesus raised from the dead. I think his place was pretty secure. Come back next week when we give you more insights on the story of the week. We'll see you next week.